In this next step, we're going to download the sounds for the particular engine we have, the BL2. You can really do this step at any time, either before or after installation, but since I have uh, everything all set up for downloading software right now anyway, I'm just going to do it beforehand. So we're going to go back to our RailPro uh, Assistant, and we're going to select the sounds that we want. And first we're going to go to Sounds, and we're going to go to Diesel Horns. I've already uh, listened to some of these on the RailPro website and decided which one I wanted. And according to the history books anyway, it's the Leslie A200 uh, is the correct horn for this engine. And then we're going to go back to sounds here and we're going to click on diesel bells. I couldn't find any real authoritative uh, fact on what type of bell that was used. So I was listening to a few on the website and I'm going to download actually two of actually three of them. I'm going to go with the brass bell, the bronze bell, and the diesel bell. And we'll make a game time decision. I can switch between these three as uh, after install and select which one I want and then get rid of the ones I don't want uh, on the board. If there's enough room on the board, I could keep all three there if I really wanted to. So we've got our virtual remote connected right here and we're going to go ahead and go to the virtual remote next and get those downloaded. So on the virtual remote, just click on the white area there and we're going to go to tools again and go to software update and this time we're going to go to copy I'm sorry we're going to go to download we are going to download these these sounds from the internet see here that the sounds will download there there's the Leslie uh, horn brass bell bronze bell diesel bell okay those files are now complete and they're on the virtual remote now it's time to get them over to the board and that download and copy took about three minutes and 30 seconds. Okay, now that we have the RailPro Assistant uh, downloaded all those files and moved them over to the virtual HC2 remote, we've powered up the LM4 and it's within two feet of the uh, CI1 USB interface device, which powers this virtual HC handheld. Now we're going to copy the files from the virtual handheld to the actual LM4 board. We hit copy, we're going to press select the product and here's that new ring engine. This is the new LM4S board. Select that, we're going to select the sound because we're going to copy a sound. And now we get to go through this virtual remote and select the sounds that we want to copy over. Now if you remember, these are other sounds I've downloaded in the past, but we wanted that A200, and there it is, the Leslie A200 horn. So we're gonna select that one, and that's gonna start copying over. The process for copying all of these sounds is the same, so I won't go through them again. One sound I did forget was the actual prime mover sound, 567, 16 cylinder engine, which is what I want for this BL2. So I'll go ahead and add that to the mix. So the sound files are on the LM4. You think we're done, right? Not quite yet. Now we have to change settings so the new sounds will play instead of the old sounds. So we want to go to our locomotive. We'll go to our new LM4 board. And then we're going to click on the tools icon here where you see the screwdriver and the wrench. And now we want to scroll until we get to, keep hitting next page until we get to the loco button setup. These are those eight buttons that you see at the bottom of the screen. We're going to scroll until we get to the button that says K5. That's the current horn button. Whoops, one too far. We'll go back. So the horn button is currently set for the K5 horn. We're going to click on that K5 name. And now we've got to go find the A200 that we downloaded. It's probably on the next page. There it is, Leslie A200. We click on that, and that's set. You want to follow the exact same steps for the bell, 
and for the engine sounds, the prime mover. So we'll exit this page and we have to save our new changes. And now we're ready to test those sounds and see what they sound like back here at the main page. Now it's time to test those sounds. That's it, so this is all ready to go. Next step is to get out the engine and strip out all the old electronics and install all this new Rapport electronics.